Hey, there's a new feature on the business website LinkedIn that is getting applause from all around the world. The platform is now giving people the ability to add dyslexic thinking to their list of skills. Dan Morgan is the president of Groves Learning Organization, and he joins us now to explain what exactly dyslexic thinking is and why it should be celebrated in the workforce. Dan, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks very much for having me. Let's start with this LinkedIn thing. Tell us about this designation and why it's such a big deal. Well, I was really excited to see that this came forward from such a large platform like LinkedIn. I know that it's got a lot of support from Sir Richard Branson, and it really is this opportunity to finally celebrate what we know about people who have dyslexia, dyslexic people, in that they have this incredible brilliance that often has just been something that has been pushed down through their years in schooling. Uh, but it brings real strengths to them uh, in terms of their life, in terms of the skills that they have. So to finally be able to have the time to actually celebrate this and then make people aware of it, business owners and people in the professional industries to know that this is something that they're going to be bringing into the workforce. It's just incredible. So uh, to flesh that out a little bit more, um, uh, people who have had to deal with dyslexia have had to kind of come up with a lot of mental workarounds for maybe some of the things that, that most people take for granted. And that essentially gives them a uh, uh, their, their brains wired a little bit differently and problem solving and all kinds of things that would be valuable to an employer. It, you've got that exactly right. You know, uh, you know, a key feature of dyslexia, of course, is the unexpected challenge of learning to read and to spell and to process sounds and letters. Uh, and of course, for 12 years of school, that is what you are mm -hmm. forced to do. And so uh, at, um, in my experience uh, and our experience at Groves Learning Organization, Groves Academy, that is the challenge that they bring in, but they do develop this incredible grit and this incredible perseverance. And of course, because the way that their brain is wired, they also have skills that are really powerful. You know, they can really problem solve very quickly. They have this creative thinking uh, and they have this ability to even model and visualize things differently than other people. So when you're able to overcome the challenges and really least sort of the brilliance that they have, they can really use those strengths to move forward. I was reading um, an article that um, mentions um, uh, the British Army is specifically looking for people who are dyslexic, which yeah. I found really interesting that there are you know, high level organizations and people that are very, very smart who are specifically looking for people like this. Tell me why. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised to hear that. And I would say first and foremost, probably it's that sort of grit and that perseverance that they have really been able to develop through years of frustration and struggle. Okay. Uh, and I can see, you know, in the military that that would be something that people would really be wanting to, to bring in. But also at the other end of that, there's also this sort of this entrepreneurship and this ability to really think through problems in a very different way uh, and take it upon themselves to go and solve something that might be complex. And so that would be useful in the military as well, especially in the higher ranks. And, and as you think about getting into business and you think about some of the really complex challenges that we are facing in the world today, moving forward into the future, that is going to be a skill that is going to be highly prized. Well, you, you mentioned some entrepreneurs and for those of us who love the show Shark Tank, I did not realize that yeah. about half the Shark Tank uh, are all people who've had to deal with dyslexia. Um, I mean, that right there is, I mean, that says a lot. That's, that's really interesting. Yeah, no surprise to me that that would be true. Uh, the people on Shark Tank uh, having that challenge early on and then taking it upon themselves to say, well, I'm not going to be able to maybe necessarily uh, be super successful in the traditional pathway. I'm going to find a new pathway. To, and, and that has been true. I think Sir Richard Branson would say that. Yeah. Uh, I know Henry Winkler, uh, who will always be the Fonz to me, right. yeah. spoke at the Groves uh, Gala about 10 years ago. He is dyslexic and has talked quite a lot about it and is now also a celebrated author. Uh, so there really are these great possibilities. Why do you think it is? We mentioned at the beginning, like, what, 30 million people have it and many don't know. Why don't people know that they have dyslexia? Yeah, well, I, I think people know that they have struggled, right? And they know that they struggle with especially something like learning to read and spell because it's just all around us and it's what you do all the time. But a lot of people don't have the access or ability to get a diagnosis and to get the assessment that is actually needed to give them the information that, that names this. Uh, and that's a really important part of the process. You know, something that we do at, at Groves Learning Organization, we provide for, for families uh, and kids. But uh, to, you know, be, to have this awareness at LinkedIn's level, it really will start this conversation that I I think has been needed for quite a long time and people will hopefully take that and think well that is me maybe yeah. I can go find out uh, what that means a little bit more deeply I think it's so great because as a kid I really struggled with reading and my mom was like I think you have dyslexia and it was something that was like 
almost, sh you know, I felt a little bit of shame with it. I mm -hmm. love the idea of looking at this and saying that these are brilliant people who see things differently and are really, really uh, doing fantastic things. They're entrepreneurs, they're developers, they're creators. They have a different eye and embracing that. So whether it's LinkedIn doing this or whether it's just a societal thing where we recognize that these are special, gifted people that are not looked down upon, but people that are celebrated. Yeah, absolutely, and we talk about this at Groves all the time. And we, we want to really empower every student to discover their brilliance because when we see them, mm -hmm. they're at that younger age where they don't really know what that's like and they feel that shame. They feel and they frustrated. They feel that frustration, mm -hmm. absolutely, because they can't do the one thing that it seems like everybody else can do. Right, what's wrong and with me? Exactly, and it, it, once they get the right environment that celebrates them as a human being, they get the right explicit and systematic instruction that's based on all the science we know about teaching, they really can begin to thrive and that all of that gets released. Well, Dan, thanks for your time today. It's a super interesting conversation. Yeah, so. thanks for having me. Appreciate it.